So here I am at Blaine Pacific Building Center, True Value Hardware, in the continued journal of worst city in America to be disabled, Blaine, Washington. Let's see what happens. Hi, hi, hi. I have just a little list. Of yeah, we can definitely little, get the shopping done for you if you'd like. A little things. Yeah. Would you like I don't us know if to you get understand that? Going? Yeah, let me grab my boss. He's okay. going to know a little bit more than okay, I do. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. okay. Okay, thank you. Hi. Are you, am I waiting for you? I think so. I need you to put this on for me. Oh, I have a medical exemption. Then we'll go outside. What can I get for you? Why is that? Because masks are required inside for everyone regardless I of vaccination. Just let you know I have a medical exemption. I know. That's why we take care of people outside if they can't be in here and be protected. So, so you want to be in violation of the ADA and the governor's order? They said you have to make alternate arrangements, which is what we do. We help, we take care of people outside. <laughs> that's not a reason. For you. That's not an accommodation for someone who's disabled and has an exemption. If you want to do that, ma'am, I'd have to sue you. Do you really want to hold up to that? I'm disabled. I have a medical exemption, and I just want to get a couple of things and get out of here. There's my list. Um, yeah, I don't have to wait outside. You guys should really educate yourself because they're telling you to do things that you shouldn't do to people. You can leave me alone, ma'am. This can you is help our me? property. Can you help me? We own this business. Who are you? We are the owners. Okay, well then I should be addressing you. Same thing, if you're both owners, you're both in violation of the governor's order. Then call the police. Okay. Why are you calling the police? I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave. Give me my list back, but just so you know, you're in violation of the governor's order and you're in violation of the ADA and now I have to sue you because you put me in a panic attack and threatened to call the police on me, so best move you made all day. Genius. So, so you won't serve me because I don't have a mask on? What happened to get your stuff for you? We just asked you to wait in the car. You just said you're going to call the cops on me, ma'am, so which is it? Because you said you wouldn't leave. That's, that's a lie. I did say I would leave. That's because you said you would call the cops on me, is when I said I would leave. I said I would leave if I could just get my stuff. I'm happy to get it for you. We just asked you to wait in your car, that's all. We're just, we're just doing our thing here. I know, but do you understand that you're in violation of the very order that you think that you're no. calling the cops on? The ADA means that. You if you provide, educate yourself, yeah, there are ma people with mask okay. exemptions, ma'am, and I have identified to you that I am one of those. And so you're not even supposed to approach me or let anybody else talk to me this way, but you're allowing it and, in fact, encouraging it. And so now I'm going to have to sue you. And I really don't want to have to do that. If you would just go back to respecting the order, you could get it for me and I'll get out of here. But if you're going to call the cops on me, I'm really going to have to sue you. I'm happy to do it. Like I 